Um, it's September 4th, 2021. I'm sitting here. Anthony actually was comical today. He was bringing up a story about a personal story. Um, all right, there's something called hope in the wild. I want you to listen to the words without the visual and then listen back to the words with the visual because it actually ties over uh, in cyberchromatic. Today is September 4th, 2021. It's about a baby harbor seal. Our next seal story takes us to late summer, when there is always a lot of work for the volunteers and staff to do around the rehab. And then, uh, and then just back up. Today, the Marine Mammal Unit is getting a thorough cleaning before two patients relocate here from another part of the farm. Uh, we're about to weigh the seals. Does that look like a mitochondria? <laughs> Just, I mean, or maybe a thrombosis or before thrombosis happens. Or, wait a minute, how many? One, two, three, four stacked cells. Oh, interesting. Heels. Fingers crossed. We all, we're all pretty sure. We think they're probably at their release weight, and then we're going to move them up the hill. These are actually not the ones. Where did this go? Oh, oh good lord. This is like how I talk to humans. It's I fast forward a lot. Oh yes. A seal should weigh around sixty-five pounds before. Ow! You're hurting me. I gotta pause this. Hey, Aunt, would you tell me on camera that story that you asked me about before? No, no, no. Why? With the, no, 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 the one with the Avenue N, or the Avenue X and the Avenue Y. Huh? Why? I just want to hear you. I don't want to see you. Well, I'm not, I won't point the camera at you. Can you just say it in the background? Well, did she back out of the deal? Right, but what? So it was a, an apartment on Avenue Y, which is like an access, A-X-I-X-Y in Brooklyn. Girl kind of looks like she could be my ancestry, uh, getting divorced. And what was the other clues in the story, Blue's Clues? I'll be Magenta, you be Steve. Blue's Clues. Let's go. I'll be Magenta, you be Steve. She backed out, right? But she came, you said she asked first. She, you said she had a special machine that she came in and she was doing, en like, reads, like energy reads? Readings. I don't know. Readings. Some type of readings. They could be Right. Then she asked for all the appliances to be replaced. Came back in. No, the appliances she wanted stainless steel. Right. Stainless steel. But they'd be energy efficient, right? I don't know. Right. All right, different metallic because stainless steel doesn't have a magnetic, um, um, a magnetic metal function in it, so it could throw off the reeds for like energy grid inside a space and how much is leaking out of the walls into the biological biodome in New York under this energy code. All right, so. Then she was supposed to sign contracts, and then she, what, just net flaked out, never showed up? Uh, I don't know if she never showed up, but she, she backed out, they said. Like, she backed out. Okay. So, anything else in the story that's important? No. I thought it was pretty interesting that a human would just come into, like, a real estate transaction with an energy monitor. Yeah, I thought so. I mean, it's not a usual part of the transaction. I mean, if you're buying a house, you get an engineer's report, but usually they don't do energy reads there either. Well, it's more like a condo, so it's not really... Yeah, it doesn't really... It the, the, a, a, it's not a co-op. It doesn't have a board. It's a different... It's not a co-op, but they have a... They have a uh, oh, what's it called? A, uh, you know, a 
Association. Right. HOA, you mean? Yeah. Right, got it. Okay. Thank you. It has remained warm well into October. But just because the days are getting shorter doesn't mean the workload is getting the extent of our relationship. I just picked him up. And the first thing we got to do is get a weight on him. So we'll take him right upstairs, weigh him in the carrier. And then we'll go from there. 6.6. The new arrival to the rehab is a baby harbor seal. My only problem with this group of lovely bunch of coconuts in the human species, as much as I love them and I would love to be around them, in the current degrade war of Star Wars, their personality tends to want to save the enemy's children more than their own. I don't know why it's part of this new viral thrombosis in all the wrong RBCs sticking together. In some thrombosis... Rulysis? No, lysis would mean that they are cut. Something like that. Rubio. Stop! Let's listen to his story. Submarine! I didn't know this. Interesting phone calls, but this one was really funny. Uh, Department of National Defense. Department of National Defense? Seal on a submarine. Seal on a submarine. Call like that. And um, they've been watching it for several days. And it, watching it back. the baby seal for, for while, several the days. End up on the submarine day Good guys. Day. So they're getting really concerned about it. Just watching something wrong. They don't normally go out of their way. But now the humans are sticking these things inside the fish. Has pneumonia. Pneumonia. The meds that we thought the seal would be. She's guessing. Because she doesn't really know. She's a DVM, but they guess because the seals don't speak human. So they take a guess. They say, okay, so it has pneumonia. I'm going to guess these magical pills that the pharmacy or the what we used to call apothecary. But it's a pharmacy here at this level of human. So they guess. They put it in the fish to trick the seal, the, baby, the innocent baby seal who has pneumonia. And then she puts a stick in its mouth and shoves the fish down its throat. A little barbaric, don't you think, lady? No, I find I like using the dowel. Everybody has their preferences. Some people don't use a dowel. A dowel. Hope's experience with seals is obviously not my version of a dowel. Dowel goes into a hole and then dovetails or holds things together. The seal has been put on an emergency course of antibiotics. We got the first round of drugs. It's always hard to get that first fish in a seal that's not used to being fed, but we'll try again tonight and it might go a lot easier. These are the people <laughs> that the enemy takes advantage of every day, telling the wrong story, getting the wrong answer, getting the wrong course of action. Right, yeah, that is a problem, isn't it? When you actually know what's going on. The Windsor. The Windsor. No, really? Oh, a little baby seal. Oh my God. It's a harbor seal. <gasps> and a raven. Oh, the crawl. Holy crawl. To mid December, and after several weeks at the rehab, Winnie the seal has recovered from pneumonia and regained his health. He has fattened up, gotten stronger, and ready to return to the ocean. If he was a woman, he wouldn't be so happy. <laughs> and this little seal pup is ready to go. When he arrived, weighing about 27 pounds, he's now up to nearly... Also was missing all of the fur around one of his eyes, my dad. Just saying. For symbolicism. Long worm. Mm. And this is the last seal pop this year that we get to release. So this time we're going to do things a little different. We're going to take him out to the ocean and put a fishing boat. Then we're going to take him out to a place that we know there's other seals. I really actually appreciate these people on like a grand scale from far away. I'm not going to lie. They are probably my favorite people on the entire planet. The problem is, is that I don't have access to any of them.
in my sheetrock prison. Um, and I know that other people seek them out in order to tell the story wrong at, like, JAG level of whatever. And then they write their judgments and opinions wrong. And they're letting criminals in, let's say, a crispy nutmeg cinnamon gingerbread cookie color out of all sorts of disgusting arrangements just because they got some dairy milk veterinarian farmer type lady to say that if it was their seal, right, yep, it's not your seal. We're the ones that had seals that were broken. There used to be something called a health shield that we used to have. It was to protect against biohazards in certain fields, in certain chemical fields. Um, it was a quiet operation and it was guaranteed health uh, status if you were exposed to certain contagions. But that was on a quiet one-to-one -one employment status. It was not for this level. We were not building health insurance institutions because you wanted to start as humans to sell each other the same chemicals in household products. Not acceptable. But these are all of the small little letdowns and letouts that have happened along this broken trail that has made everything really dangerous. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anthony uh, Tierfrio, 1975, just informed me that one of his cousins just died in Florida. His cousin Kate. Um, I never met her. And uh, I think it was Manzioni. And also he was showing me a video from some German scientist also my lineage, my color, um, that was showing Rublio, ru 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 which is the stacked thrombosis, the negative, the charges on the blood cells have now changed. But he also showed a signature, a cosmetic signature fingerprint, which is how we know based on broken glass, what's going to affect the species. These are not new introductions. It's just you've allowed so much degradation of a humongous sector of the population for all sorts of stupid reasons that now it's going into effect and there are catastrophic effects. Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Cateruza. It is Earth... Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, at a spiral galactic break, and I am in Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. Um, Alright, Anthony showed me this. I had never even heard of it before. They show on here, more importantly... Welcome to the Stu Peters Show. My name is Stu Peters. Today we're going to start with absolutely uh, alarming and breaking news. This is horrific. It's coming out of Germany. Dr. Jane Ruby is with us. A group of doctors and lawyers have examined the blood this of inoculated Anthony patients. Tietrius and you reference. have their findings. Thanks for being here. Yes, Stu. This all surrounds a physician in Germany by the name of Dr. Barbel Gitala. Dr. Gitala uh, sees patients. Uh, she gathered together in her office in Germany... Uh, two attorneys and another physician. And what she was sharing with them was her concerns over her patients who have been inoculated. And so th this is just incredible, Stu, because not only are we going to show you today the blood samples that she's seen. And by the way, she's doing this video 10, won't 12, even let me fast forward. It's so annoying. Patients per week. Uh, so this is this is I've already watched it once. I need to get to the point. They also got hold of a vial from Johnson & Johnson. They take you through it in their video. I'm going to send you the clip. It'll be on your website. And first, I want to, um, before we get into down. what they saw in the vial of Johnson & Johnson injection, I want to take you through these blood smears that Dr. Gitala is revealing, because this is the stunning evidence. In the first picture I'm showing you, picture one, you see moments Notice in it's words, Europe. Moments after it's not Hispaniola, and it's not Latin America. She took her blood smear and immediately put it under the microscope. These are regular microscope pictures, by the way. For Christopher you can Columbus see this in 1493. Very lit up, uh, 
of peace in the middle. You can see the Go blood, Navi. Uh, in the background. They look like coins stacked up. I'm going to talk about that in a minute. In the next picture, Stu, we've marked it's picture number four. You can see this very coiled piece uh, with a metallic sheen. And Dr. Gitala says in the middle here that these this coiled structure uh, does not absorb light like the red blood cells do. And then you can see in the background all these it's red like blood cells. And they strand. look like they're all stuck together, uh, which they are. And I wanted to call your attention now to the to picture number five of the blood, where you see this elongated, very shiny tubular structure uh, going through a group of red blood cells. And Stu, what these blood cells demonstrate is a stacking phenomena that's called Rulio. Um, I want to share. It's with a cause your of thrombosis, uh, which formation, is dangerous for stroke patients really and heart. Red blood Whatever. Cells. And you can see in the in the photo here of the red blood cells that they just line up like like a stack of coins. It's normally find, found rather in patients with blood cancers. Uh, and I want to just read this. Rulio formation refers to the stacking of four or more red blood cells. The red Health blood shield cells was removed. Normally, by the way, so I don't understand why you're letting all of so these large companies just bioengineer new shit. Reason, because they're not supposed to stick together under normal healthy conditions. When, you might um, pay for health insurance. Now you're just people. paying to ensure Changes your sickness and to ensure that they're positive. tracking you so to cause you sickness so they can come up with new ways to charge you for shit. Doctors Humans. And in this video uh, opine that this is likely the beginning of your old system you were following that was honorable uh, and now, venerable uh, let me move on is now vulnerable and it's no longer the way it was. Uh, it's a, it's, it's, it's pulled back a That's little That's called bit. gingerbread, so nutmeg, cinnamon, crisp. That she calls a roll of coins. But in the surrounding areas, there's no doubt about these red blood cells are clumping together. They're forming their little stacked Rulio now, formation. There's uh, and, and she a picture that comes video, up. I'm afraid for patients. When I take their blood of the vaccinated and I put these smears under the microscope. You're doing blood banking. What the fuck did you stupid patients. dumbass humans Some think? Things that she said were, um, she You're not Red Cross? Red Cross, by the way, in the Americas is so disgusting. They do blood banking for free. They ask for free donations, and then they take your blood, they sell it for big money, and then they go and they restructure it into new, more dangerous, vulnerable future diseases. To be honest with you. So I want to move on to the pictures of what they found when this is they what took I needed. droplets of the Johnson & Johnson file this is the that one they that I needed. able to secure. This is uh, Johnson & Johnson. I, I, they do not disclose how they got it, what the chain of custody was, but they do show in the video uh, one of the vials and one of the lawyers comments that that is a lot number. It's got an expiration date. These are all similar findings to what the Spanish researchers found. So I want to move on to what she found under the microscope and what they reveal. Um, in, in the Johnson & Johnson vial. So in the vial pictures that I've provided, picture number one, you actually see her computer screen, and you see this very rigid structure with these tiny little dots in between. And so... This is a fingerprint of a very high-value target. It is a unique signature, and it ties into other machinist stuff elsewhere. And so if we move to picture... Then there's a second one with a home base, pictures, baseball looking... It's a little bit of a closer zoom there it is. on those uh, structures. And this one... This area right here looks like a American baseball home plate. H-O-M-E-P-L-A-T-E. -E. Right there. And then I haven't deciphered what the other pieces are. But this is like a thrombosis on a different scale of pieces that came together in order to cause this problem. Star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Caterusa. I'll put up the link to... Shut the fuck up. Go away. Um, I will put... Shut up! I will put the link up that he uh, referenced on my Facebook. 
star 1978, star 8378, uh, Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe at a Spiral Galactic Fracture, um, for my Soviet Union that's broken.